DJs have always been the backbone of music. You, know, you got people like Jazzy. I remember hearing Jazzy transform. I was like, oh, shit. I got to learn how to do that now. When I first heard Jazzy Jeff scratch, and it was over. All of the block parties in Philly, you would have uh, either the neighborhood band or the neighborhood DJ. And I used to just go out and just stand there and, and, and watch them because they were the person that kind of controlled everybody. A lot of that was pre-DJ scratching and cutting and you grew up just getting the knowledge of the music first. It made me a lot more well-rounded. I think my reaction to the crowd is emotional because I don't really pay attention to the crowd. I almost try to feel the crowd you know, feel the energy. I came from an era that the DJ is supposed to be the train conductor. Like, you're supposed to take them on your ride. You followed your favorite DJ because you like the direction of his train. Grand was a theater, was the first person to ever scratch. Everybody basically took the interpretation of what he did and added their own flavor. The mentality with DJs is always finding out how you can do things a little differently, how you can take things to another level. Scratching is something that initially intrigued me. I thought it was like a futuristic way to make music, so that's kind of why I decided to do it. I was into scratching and looping stuff up. I love scratching. I'll practice scratching every day. A scratching is exciting. It's something that is really impressive to watch. One of the first DJs that, that I heard scratch was Mixmaster Ice, which he was the DJ for UTFO. And uh, I wanted to learn that that was the first scratch. <laughs> Keyword is, you know, he's ill. And people wouldn't really, you know, even realize because I, I don't really do that style of stuff, but stuff is just dope, so it's a big influence. Scratching can be a real instrument, you know, just like a guitar. It takes practice every day. Taking it to the next level, even though there's so many types of scratches, just come up with your own. Scratching at this point to me is more just like a way to kind of pepper your sets. You don't want to go overboard with it, because if you're scratching too much, people that just go to the club to dance are going to be looking at you like, uh, you know, what is it? Is this a DJ battle? Like, what do you do? I think for the most part, like a good DJ, when they're when they're playing like a club or a lounge or something, will, will scratch, but they'll keep it to, you know, like, within the frame of the song, so you're not losing people. Scratching is like seasoning. If it's done right, it can be the best seasoning in the world. Yo, this is DJ Jazzy Jeff, live from Sam's Music Connection, and you're watching Vivo.